So what's the Peachtree City Golf Cart Lifestyle really all about? This is David and Amy Vendor with the Vendor Group serving all your real estate needs in the South Metro Atlanta area. Whether you want to buy or sell in the next one week or one year, we'd love to be your resource. So a lot of people have trouble envisioning. What do you mean by a golf cart lifestyle? Teresa, our assistant, has fully integrated the golf cart lifestyle in most days of the week. And she's invited us to see what a day in her life is like. Come on, let's go take a ride. Thank you for joining me today on this Peachtree City Golf Cart Lifestyle Tour or a day in the life of. My name is Teresa Rupert. I am David and Amy Vendor's assistant. And my family moved here to Peachtree City about five years ago from the Metro Detroit area. And we absolutely love it here. We have completely embraced the golf cart lifestyle and I'm excited to show it to you today. So as mentioned in our other videos, please go check those out. Peachtree City was built on a village concept. So all of our neighborhoods, shops, entertainment, lakes, parks are all connected to each other on a hundred plus miles of multi-use path. And we call them the golf cart paths, but they also have walkers and joggers and kids riding bikes. It's a wonderful, wonderful addition to this community. And so today I'm going to take you on both some business work I have and some personal stuff. So we're going to start off by dropping my youngest off at school. All of the schools have golf cart parking and golf cart access so that children can ride their bikes to school, walk to school, as well as, of course, parents picking up and dropping off. And then at the high school, many, many of the students, I mean half, maybe more, uh, drive golf carts to school. And you'll see that a little later on in the video. But as we head out from the school, I'm meeting uh, Dave and Amy kind of in Midtown today for some business, uh, particularly a lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over that way now. Um, I'm gonna stop off and do a couple things before then. So as you can see, as we drive through the path system, it's a little different than other golf cart communities in that the paths were created through green spaces. So as they drive from subdivision to subdivision, village to village, shopping center to shopping center, it's all done through green space and it's so quiet and so peaceful and it's so enjoyable to be on. They're significantly cooler also, um, because they have some shade from that Georgia sun. So in the summer, they're absolutely pleasant to be on. And as you can see, there's lots of wildlife, lots of deer here, uh, mamas with their babies, geese, ducks, armadillos, <laughs> lots of stuff here. And we take great pride in taking care of our wildlife here and giving them plenty of space to uh, live with us. As we come up uh, to this intersection here, you can see Battery Way a little bit off to the left. You'll see that a little bit more later. And as you drive around the lake, you can see that there are paddle borders. There are, you can swim in this lake peach tree. Not all of our lakes you can, but this one you can. And you can have non-motorized boats on here as well. And you'll see there's homes that back up to it. Our fireworks are done over this lake. going to drive past uh, the main city buildings here, the library and our fountain and you'll also see Drake Field. Drake Field is where there are many live entertainment and music events. We also have uh, something called the night market that comes once a month during the warmer months, um, which are all the months if you're from Detroit like myself. It's very mild here even in January and February. But uh, we have the night market with artisans that come uh, both food, music, all types of different mediums for art and you can purchase and it's, it's just a wonderful event. Um, we really enjoy it and they have food vendors and all that fun stuff too. I'm going to grab a cup of coffee and then head over to the open market. The 
these bridges cross the highways. We have three of them in Peachtree City to get golf carts over the highways. We also have tunnels that go under main roads, uh, as you saw earlier as we were driving around. The open market is held on Wednesdays and Saturday mornings. They run from nine to one o'clock Wednesday is usually a little bit smaller. Saturday is huge, particularly in the warmer months again, uh, but it does run all year round. In January, they are open and you can get what fresh produce is available from local farmers. Uh, but you have everything here. You can buy meat, you can buy seafood, you can buy fresh fruits and vegetables. Uh, obviously, you also have people selling local honey and all kinds of fun stuff and it's it's dog friendly they always have someone singing it's a great place to come and get a bite to eat and grab your produce um, so I grabbed a few things uh, for my family and now we are heading off for our business meeting Our business meeting is actually gonna be at Flat Creek Golf Course. So Peachtree City, I believe, has four golf carts now. Um, they belong to the Club Core group, the national group. So if you belong to any of the national ones, you can also golf here. I have a social membership. So that allows me to eat at the restaurants, swim at their pools with my children. It's so great. They have so many events here for families and kids, 4th of July events. New Year's Eve, they have events for adults. They often have um, a local band that plays and they always have a special menu that's happening that's seasonal. It's great. It's, it's one of the best things about living here is driving up and grabbing a quick meal. The clubs themselves back up into neighborhoods in and throughout the city. So many people, their homes back up right to the golf course. It's beautiful, they're so well maintained. As you can see, I'm driving along and <laughs> doing my daily business and I'm passing in and out of, of golf courses all the time, it's, it's really great. And they're in most of the villages. So we're gonna pop up, have a little lunch meeting, and I'll see you after. So we wrapped up our lunch meeting at Flat Creek Golf Course. It was delicious as always. And then headed over to pick up my son from school. So it's a little bit cloudy, a little bit gray. It does rain. We have golf cart covers on the golf carts themselves. Cause again, this is a main mode of transportation for students and parents to and from and in around all of the things they need to do in the city. So as you can see the high school let out, it is absolutely organized chaos, but it's wonderful. It's fun to see. It's always a sight to behold the first couple times. Now that I'm heading on my way home, I will see you later for dinner with Dave and Amy. It's time for dinner. My husband and I are gonna meet David and Amy over at Positano, a wood fire pizza restaurant in the Avenue, our local mall. It has some wonderful restaurants and some higher end stores. As we drive through, you can see we are passing through Braylon Rec, it's one of many parks here in Peachtree City. This is the one close to my house and we have pickleball here, baseball, soccer. Glenlock is another big park. It has actually a pool, a splash pad, a skate park.
So on our way to the restaurant, you're gonna see a couple things I wanted to point out to you. One is the Fred Amphitheater. The Fred Amphitheater is where our concerts are held in Peachtree City, and we get some pretty great acts. I've seen Pat Benatar, Joan Jett, Five for Fighting, The Verve Pipe, and many, many more. There's a concert series that happens every year. They get some great cover groups, as well as high-end acts that come to town to play, and it's so wonderful. It's a great venue, it's super small. You golf cart in, you can bring your own food, your own alcohol. There's tables that you can buy tickets for down in the front, and it's always a wonderful time. We always have a great time at the Fred. Now we're heading into the industrial part of Peachtree City. As we mentioned, everything is set up on a village concept and they kept all the industrial away from the residential. So this is the industrial part where you'll see lots of different businesses. Panasonic is a large employer here, TDK, Hella Lighting. Our favorite part that we point out to all of our Detroit friends is coming up. And that is that there are no car dealerships in Peachtree City only golf cart dealerships. So we are driving past Golf Cart Row, and this is where all the golf cart dealerships are, or many of them, most of them are on this road. And they're also service shops for when you have to get your golf cart serviced. We're gonna go under the highway and pop up, do a little circle about, and then head into the avenue. And this is a famous sign in the avenue. Many people get their picture taken here. And we're pulling up right now to see uh, Dave and Amy at Positano, giving us a little wave. Had a great meal at Positano, and now we're gonna head over for an after dinner drink to Line Creek Brewery. It is our local brewery. They do not have food, but they do have food trucks that rotate through all the time. They have live entertainment. It's a wonderful place to go. They have seasonal beers, obviously, as well as their staples, and those staples are even sold in our local grocery stores. After a quick beer, we are heading home for the night, and as you can see, it's dark, <laughs> very dark. Uh, we don't have lots of light pollution, or as much light pollution as many suburban areas, and we don't have a lot of signage. So it is very dark, but very safe. Um, what I wanted to point out is how safe the path system is, even at night. The golf carts all have lights. They only go about 20 miles per hour. Um, that is, there's no other motorized vehicles on there. It is very safe to walk and drive on our golf cart paths at night. We need to stop at Kroger and pick up some things for breakfast in the morning for our kids before they head off to school. And that is just a typical thing to do in Peachtree City. Everything is easy to get to. Having this village concept with the multi-use paths makes it so easy to pop into stores. It takes me seven minutes on a golf cart. It actually takes me less time on a golf cart to come to Kroger than it does to go in a car. And you can click list and pick up your groceries on the golf cart. There's special parking in all of our shopping centers for golf carts. It's really great. So as we head home and we're on this last stretch, I hope you enjoyed this tour of Peachtree City. I hope it gives you a little bit of a glimpse of how much the golf cart lifestyle is integrated into our city. It's a part of our community. It's something we protect. It's something we enjoy. It's unique from other golf cart communities throughout the U.S. And if you have any questions and you'd like a tour on the golf cart, we would be happy to give you one at the vendor group. Here we are. I'm home. <laughs>